who had another 100% match. Oh, a scoop and a slam from the God of Death. No Harbingers at ringside. A good side for Mr. Craddock. Shoulder blocks. Good shoulder blocks there from Will Craddock. Another scoop and a slam. A very tactical, tepid pace is being set. Punch in the face to Will Craddock. Another punch to the face, rearranging the facial structures of Will Craddock. Boot to the head. Had the back grapple was reversed. Another scoop and a slam. Knees to the gut from Will Craddock to the God of Death. Yeah. Oh God, German suplex into the turnbuckle. God of Death just stood up like it's nothing. He was gonna run into that turnbuckle. Will Craddock with the championships, uh, champion's instinct to go away. Fighting in another day. Whipping him into the turnbuckle again. No! Oh, knuckles to the face from the god of death. Oh god! Knee crunching the knee. Oh, hitting the groin. And now these two are getting down to business. Oh. Go for the cover. No. Right to the eyes. Oh, hit the face with an elbow step that could have rattled his ancestors. And now putting a cross face from Will Craddock. Going for the cover. Neck breaker. Slowing him down. Scooping a slam. Oh, working the knee. Again, working that surgically your bird's shoulder, Josh the Jersey boy. Oh, the referee's down. Oh, ho, ho. Dragon sleeper when the referee won't be able to say anything. And the God of Death rakes the eyes of Will Craddock. Well, that hit, that hurt the throat. So far, it's all Will Craddock from here. It's a gurry. Getting the knee. Snap suplex. Oh, God, no, here comes the sight. Oh, digging into his skin. I do believe he has a small cut over his head. Oh, God. That's going to make that cut worse. A face wash. Here comes the sliding D. Yeah, hits it with a sliding D. Going low again. Now picking him up. Oh, he was going to hit him with a back suplex. Guess not. Elbow shot to the back of the neck. Oh, here we go. Triple Fisherman's Buster. Dude! That had to hurt the neck of Will Craddock. The Jersey Trio doing wonders, and now Will Craddock is reeling. Oh, God, he has a fork. Oh, Jesus. He's forking the hell out of Will Craddock. Neckbreaker from Will Craddock now starting to gain momentum back. Oh, a sliding D himself. Oh, what a combination. Vicious combination from Will Craddock. Dragon sleeper to the god of death. Escapes, of course. Death Star Driver, that's it. 
No, it was a rope break right by the ropes. And the God of Death is still standing. Jersey Trio again. Nailing the Jersey Trio onto Will Craddock. Has him stunned. Now he's biting him. Good God. This is going to be another bloodbath. Now talking shit to the fans. Got to go after Will Craddock. Wait, this might be it. No! With blood in the referee's eyes. Blood in Will Craddock's eyes. Oh, jeez! Dropping him right on his face. A neckbreaker from the God of Death. Here we go again with the Jersey Trio. Got him! Jersey Trio. And he stands up like it's nothing. German suplex. Will Craddock now on the fight of his life. He's been in this situation before during this title reign. But this situation might be a bit more dire as the God of Death is starting to creep closer and closer to ending him. Cannonball 630 sent on from, the, from uh, Will Craddock. Punch in the face. Oh God, they're exchanging hard strikes near the left side of the ring. Roaring elbow. Uh-oh. Super kick. A super kick. A rare super kick from the Welsh Wrecking Ball. Pulling out all the stops against his rival, the God of Death. Here we go, Ushiguroshi. Nails it. Will he hit another Death Star driver? No! Oh, knee trigger! He was gonna go for a back suplex. Got a death reverse that. Now Will Craddock reverse that. Jersey driver! And that should be it! Caught him! No! He kicks out of the Jersey driver! Will Craddock is still alive! And they both run into each other out of exhaustion. They both hit each other with their finishers. Both men are exhausted. Oh, God, digging him again with the scythe. Oh, Jesus, biting him in the face. That was a nice job there with the knees. A knee trigger. Good Lord. I think he's going to wait for him to get up. He's going to hit him again with a knee to the face. No. The exhaustion factor and the blood seeping into his face. Now starting to take its ugly effect in this match. And now he has him right by the turnbuckle. No, that, that didn't work out so well. He's, he chopped him for a bit, but now he's biting the shit out of him. Will he give up? No. Will Craddock, of course, not giving up. Oh, jeez. He's a crimson mess. He's now just a crimson mask to your God. Will Craddock again adoring a crimson mask. Maybe for the third time this week. Not this week, but the third time in this title reign. Oh, an elbow to the face and Josh just takes it like a champ. Will he go for the cover? No. Bloody Sunday DDT. Will Craddock going for the home run shots right now. Snap suplex. These two are very similar in move set and in style, except for the fact that the god of death hasn't forgotten his roots. Oh, straight check your German suplex! Put it right by the ropes. Oh, good god, the blood in his eyes is affecting his ring vision. Ushigoroshi! Yeah, hits a Ushigoroshi again. Onto the god of death, going for a 630 splash or a moonsault. Knee to the head. Another German suplex, dear God. And he gets up like it's nothing. Wait, Jersey driver! He hits a Jersey driver! He should have went for the cover. He would have had him. Back suplex. And he gets up like that was nothing. Here we go. Oh, a knee to the face. Oh, more biting, dear God! 
And it's a good to the back of the head. Dragon suplex! And he gets right back up like it's nothing. Breaking the eyes of Will Craddock. And now they're trading strikes again. Oh, God. Working the leg again. That's a good strategy for Will Craddock. Working that knee. But he gets his face punched in by the God of Death himself. And he's going up. And what has he got planned? A knee to the back. No, oh, a clothesline. Holy shit, a clothesline to Will Craddock. He's going for the jersey missed. Lariat. And now he's going up. Elbow drop to the throat. What in the hell is going to keep Will Craddock down? One. Two. No, he's kicking out again. Will Craddock refusing to die. The man is a monster, and this is why he is Mr. 100. Will Craddock always giving 100% in his matches, always having match of the show. The fans are getting into it now. Definitely knowing something is special happening tonight between these two men. The blood seeping out of his face still giving... Oh, God damn it, he's biting him again! Oh, Jesus! Both men have gone for pins. Both know that it'll take a lot to put each other away. They both compared putting the other away to killing each other. These two men have basically decided that they would rather die than to leave the ring a loser. Well, a noble goal. Probably not the smartest goal at the same time. Oh, God, a kick to the net. And now the God of Death is being booed as usual. Part of the course for him. Jersey Trio, here we go. Will he go for the cover this time? Jersey Trio! And Will Craig is the first to stand up. And he puts him in a Dragon Sleeper! This might be it! Dragon Sleeper! Onto the God of Death row! Frankensteiner! The God of Death is in a lot of trouble. Oh God, he's biting him again to slow him down. Nothing will slow down the Welsh Wrecking Ball. As the God of Death was trying to get to work to him. Bloody Sunday DDT! But I think now that little rush of energy might be starting to go away as the blood is finally going to the head of Will Craddock. Oh, Lariat there! Oh God, a sight! No! A sight to the face! Getting that elbow ready, he's getting it cocked. German out to the outside of the ring! Holy shit, good God almighty! And he still gets up like it's nothing! Not even getting a weapon. Bloody Sunday DDT again. This is it. Sliding D. And he hits him again with a sliding D. Another one. A neck breaker from the God of Death himself. Neck suplex. Oh, good God. What's he going to do again? No. Another neck breaker. Maybe he might go for a cover now. No, he's just going to jaw jack with the fans. One, two, he can't end this way. No, and he kicks out. That second of jaw jack with the fans cost the God of Death. Jesus Christ. Punch to the face. Uppercut. Another one. Jesus Christ. Wow, what a lariat that was. Close line. They both are bloody. They both are just in a lot of pain. And they both collide again.
both dodging big strikes. Oh, Jesus, the fork. Here we go again. Using the fork to slow down Will Craddock's offense and biting him. Going for the back. Knee trigger. Hits him with a knee trigger. And now going for another knee. Oh, the blood in his eyes again playing a factor into this match. His ring vision is shot. Wildly going for an elbow caught. Good God. One, two. No, he kicks out. How in the hell is he kicking out? Death Star driver, no reverse. Going for the cover. One, two. No. Another neck breaker. Here we go, sliding D again. Oh. Going for the cover now, covering his leg. This might be it, hooking the leg, no. Oh, Jesus, with the fork again. Blocking that kick from Mo Craddock. The God of Death running out of a bit of steam. Oh, Jesus, the ring. Again, his vision is being affected by all the blood all over his face. That has to take a lot of effect out of his offense. He can't see. Can't see out of any of his eyes. And now he's getting punched down for good measure. No. Oh. Now going for the cocky cover. No, he still kicks out. Dear God, this man isn't human. Here we go again, punching him down. Oh, ho, ho. Right to the face. And now here comes another sliding D. The God of Death is still not giving up. Chop. Elbow strike to the face. Someone has to lose this match. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a gurry, but he's stunned. Oh, hit shot to the throat. This is probably one of the most ultimate battles of good versus evil. The 630 splash. He couldn't go for a follow-up there. The blood, of course, affecting him. Again, going for more. More of the... the Biting strikes, just making sure more blood gushes into the eye of Will Craddock to affect him. That's a sound strategy. And now here we go again, jaw jacking with the fans. Oh, what a hook to the face. That wasn't even a slap. That's a closed fist. Oh, another hook to the back of the head. Relying more on that boxing background. Missing the jersey mist again. And now the fans booing him as he starts to get more cocky and more confident. Now they're going to start trading shots again near dead center of the ring. Oh, my God. Oh. Vicious strikes being exchanged. Kick to the back of the head. Has him stunned. Oh, no. Crushing the knee. Going for the cover. No. That was a sound strategy. Making sure you can't kick out if the knee is crushed. His wind pipe crushed. No, he still kicks out. And now he's getting some second wind back. Here comes Will Craddock. Oh, a knee to the face. On the attack. Now going up again. Moon Salt, this is it. Got him. No. Elbow strike to the face, caught him dead in the jaw. Oh, low blow from the god of death. Dodging strikes again. These two definitely are in the zone right now. These two are definitely ready to be carted out until death. Missing that elbow. 
Another knee to the face. He's going up. We haven't seen this move for a while. Springboard knees. Good God. Another knee to the head. Uh, uh, elbow to the head. Oh, here we go again. Punching him down to the ground. And still just taunting the shit out of the crowd. Going for the cover. That was a cocky cover. Didn't even bother trying to get him off the ropes. Going for the pin again. Oh my god, still kicking out. Elbow to the back of the neck. Oh boy, that's not a good sign. Oh jeez, here we go. Jersey Trio. Jersey Trio, Jesus Christ. And now more forking to the skull. But Will Craddock's still getting up. Another knee trigger. Jesus Christ, another knee to the back of the head. What will it take to put either of these men down? Fighting him. Oh, Jesus. There's only 30 seconds left of this match. This might go to a draw. Oh, super kick. Super kick. Oh, God. This might be it. And it's over. It is a draw. <laughs> Dear God, we have witnessed something special here tonight, but the war is far from over. All right, let's clean up the ring as we get to the second fall. Second fall is going to be very violent. Well, that was a violent first half. You know what? It's days like that to just make me happy to be a wrestler, damn it. Going to war. Charles E. Oswald ordering this match to be restarted. Not accepting a draw. Oh, Jesus. Scooping a slam. The referee cleaned up Will Craddock's cut. Thank God the ref used to be a former army medic. Or Will Craddock would be in a lot of trouble. Ducking the kick. And now these two are starting again at a slow pace. But now Josh the Jersey Boy is taking on more of a stalking role. Knowing that Will Craddock is a bit stunned from all the blood loss and Will Craddock will be wrestling the match of his life I'm trying to hold on to that AAW heavyweight title knee to the gut cross face oh man another cross face that had to hurt running both into each other now just a Working again on his punches to the face. Oh, jeez. Trading combinations. Right. Dead center in the ring. Can Will Craddock stave off the god of death? Oh, elbow strikes. Going for that clothesline. Ducked. He was going for an elbow to the back of the neck, but Will Craddock's not having any of that. The crowd now, knowing they witnessed something special in that match uh, they just seen prior. Scoop and a slam, going for the cover. One, no. Scooping a slam again. 
Nope. Trying to go for a cover. Didn't work out so well. Go for a cover again. No. Scoop and a slam. Oh, jeez. Right to the groin of Will Craddock. Another one to the groin. Snap suplex now starting. Craddock looks like he has half the energy left. He doesn't have enough energy left from that last match. He spent a lot of energy and a lot of blood loss as well. Oh, Boston Crab. Wait, he reverses that. Knee to the face. Bishuku knee to the face. But he gets shut down by a jersey maker and another Boston Crab. Back grab Odell, reverse. I think he finally adapted to Will Craddock's strategy and now the God of Death is starting to... Oh, God, take over the match. Here comes a sliding D. Oh, sliding D to the face. And he get, he's going to get it again. Oh, no. I think he's going to reopen up that cut. Yes, he's reopened up the cut. Bang, bang. Jersey driver! Going for the cover. No, Will Craddock still kicking out. Jersey Rainmaker. Craddock only has so much left in the fucking tank. Oh, no, not the fork again. He's opening up the cut even more. That cut was stitched up, and now it's being reopened up. Charles E. Oswald not satisfied until Will Craddock is destroyed. That, that, that to me just symbolized the hatred he has for Will Craddock. Oh no. Face washing him. Face wash! Oh god, those shoelaces going into the eyes and into the cut. The dirty shoelaces. They're booing him, but he doesn't care. Oh wait, Will Craddock starting to come back now with some offense. Going for a desperation pin didn't work. I haven't seen the Welsh wrecking ball this desperate in a long time. Just wielding off wild strikes. Finally nailing an Inseguri to put down the God of Death. Again with a wild elbow. Blood seeping into his eyes. Unable to see. Yep, here we go again. Blood seeping into the eye. He's still unable to see. There's blood everywhere all over his face. Snap suplex. And now getting the... the Elbow to the kneecap. Didn't work out so well. Now they're just punishing each other with blows to the face. That worked. Now going for the cover. No. That's a one count. Oh, showing down. Oh, just a kick to the groin to Will Craddock. That's not going to win. Going for the cover. No. Oh, jeez, punching him down again. Now just waiting for him to get back up. Close line, taking his neck off. He's already a bloody mess, and it hasn't even been a minute into this match. I'm sorry, it hasn't even been 10 minutes into this match. He's already a bloody mess. Snap suplex again. Oh, God. Oh, man, missing that. God of death, of course, symbolizing that he's close to capturing that title. Oh, God, more blood to the face. The eyes of Will Craddock are 
unable to see anymore. Desperation, Hurricane Rana going for the cover. This is it. No. Scoop slam. That wasn't out of desperation. Now the sliding D now connecting. Now Will Craddock starting to get some offensive foothold at back. He gets break to the eyes. Jesus! Jersey Trio! Jersey Trio! Nails it! Squashing the knees. This might be it. No, we'll credit kicking out as usual. Booing him, and now they're biting, biting the face off of Will Craddock again. The ring being covered in blood as usual. The Josh the Jersey Boy match, what do you expect? Oh, caught him! Neck breaker! Oh, Senton onto Will Craddock. Jersey missed, hitting the Jersey missed. Will Craddock truly is blind now. He's desperately fighting. Oh God, being bitten. The mist and the blood going into his eyes. Now he truly is fighting blind. Here we go, going up again. Senton. Wait, Cannonball 630 splash! Moon Salt! Caught him! Here we go. Oh, sliding D. Now he finally nails that elbow, and now he's gaining a foothold in this match. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Jersey driver. Hits a Jersey driver. Hits a hook to the face. Now he's going to start to slowly torture Will Craddock. Another one, Jersey Driver! Going for the cover. Hooking the leg. Will it be it? No, he still kicks out. What will keep Will Craddock down? Jesus Christ, nothing will keep this man down. Sliding D. Elbow to the face. Hey, hey. Jersey driver again. Oh God, he's talking with the fans instead of going for the cover. That's gonna cost him. Oh, it cost him precious seconds. German suplex to the outside of the ring. He can't keep taking those jersey drivers, though. Oh, Jesus, he has the exploding barbed wire bat. Oh, no. Whoever loses this is going to fall on an exploding bat. Oh, God almighty! Will Craddock fell on that bat. Oh, Jesus. Now he's starting to revert back to his deathmatch days as the Philippine death machine. Oh, but the stem suplex onto the exploding bat. He's starting to revert back to what he used to be, a deathmatch legend. And now he's picking up the weapon to try to finish off Will Craddock. 
Oh, no, 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 buddy, send it into the pit! Oh, God! This match has turned into something special. Again, the first match was something different. This match is just a bloodbath. Well, actually, the other match was a bloodbath, too, but this one now has a weapon involved. Oh, God, that barbed wire bat that they promised to kill the god of death with is now being used. Bloody Sunday DDT onto the bat again! No! Barely missing the bat. Elbow to the face. Oh! Exploding bat to the back of the neck. Elbow to the back of the... Well, actually not to the back. To the front of the face. It's showing that he has a lot of heart and courage. Up oh, here we go. Whipped him into the ropes again. Another Jersey clothesline. Oh! Exploding bat to the face. Oh, God! Dangerous back suplex onto the neck of Will Craddock. Oh, straight Jackie German one got him got him no back, back. oh he has him right on the ropes right where he wants him he, he suckered him in with a scoop and a slam his face covered in blood a crimson bloody mass bloody Sunday DVD Bloody key again. I mean, this best two out of three falls match can't get any worse. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Jersey Trio. No, no. On to the bat. Holy shit! Oh Jesus, he's dragging him onto the bat! That might be it! He's not human! Jersey driver! Oh, he's taunting instead of going for the cover! He's gonna inflict more punishment now so he can stay down for good. Neckbreaker! Wow, these two are, are just just engaging in a brutal, brutal match. Sliding D. Rolling elbow missed. Snap suplex instead. These two are just just like gods right now. They are they are just trying to exterminate each other's life. Bomb went off again, right in his face. Oh no, what is he going for? No! Neckbreaker! Jesus! Caught! He was done to go for a hurricane round and was caught with a power bomb instead. Reversed his grapple! Ball's line taking him down! Another one! Oh, going for a wild swing of the bat. Oh, Gus Van is flying to the exploding bat! Holy shit! Good God Almighty! The God of Death is stunned! Bloody Sunday DDT! Sent on 630 splash on... I think he landed on some of that bat that might hinder him. But he showed no signs of slowing down. Another Jersey Trio soup hikes. God damn, these guys are trying to kill each other. 
I guess this is what raw hatred can do to a man. Oh, God, another bat to the gut. Jesus Christ. More forks to the face of Will Craddock. Up oh, here we go again. Triple Fisherman's Buster, the Jersey Trio, landing it. Will Craddock is uh, stunned right now. Got a death going toe to toe with the Welsh Wrecking Ball and your comic book hero. Good God. I am in awe of these two annihilating each other off the map. Who's going to win? Oh, God, sliding D to the face. Knee to the face. Snap suplex. There we go, picking up the bat. Jersey driver. Oh, God, Jersey Rainmaker onto the clothesline. Still pulling out the sight. Now, oh, countered. He had a plan, but it didn't go out so well. Oh, no! Will Craddock landing on top of the exploding bat with the Bashuku knee. Straight taking German onto the exploding bat. One, two, got him, no! Jesus Christ. Someone is going to have to die. Dragon Sleeper, this is it! No, it is not it! German Suplex onto the turnbuckles! Good God! 630 Centaur! Oh! Well, Craddock is annihilating the God of Death, and maybe the facade is starting to melt down as well. Bloody Sunday DDT! Dragon Sleep, Dragon Suplex! We're going for the Dragon Sleeper. Yeah, got him! Is he going to tap? He refuses to tap! Oh, good God. Jesus Christ, these two are monsters. Suplex, one, two, no. Oh, God, here we go again with that sight. Caught the kick and hit him right in the nads. Oh, caught him again with the elbow to the face. The second fall is going to end sooner rather than later. Somebody's going to have to end up underground. Knee trigger. Reversing the knee. Oh, Hurricane Rana. And that match ends in a draw again. Ball number two ends in a draw. What? 
So two falls in and a draw. There we go. The penultimate fall has begun. You have the line. God of death going up against the Welsh wrecking ball. This is this it? No. One has to fall eventually. Jesus Christ. Punching him to the face. Well, both men said they'd rather get caught out of the ring dead than to submit to the other. German suplex! Good God! He gets right back up like it's nothing. Oh, that was a rough landing. Rough, rough landing. Now taking a weapon out. What does he have in his hand? A light tube! Oh, snap suplex onto that light tube! Dragon suplex! Elbows to the face. Another elbow coming up. Dragon sleeper putting him to sleep. This might be it. Will he get out? No, and he does get out. Snap suplex from the god of death himself. Going for the cover. Wait, no. Another snap suplex. Will he go for another cover? No, he's going up top. Oh, missing the senton. Sick thud. Moonsault. This is it. One, two. No. Oh, Jesus, a clothesline. Going for the pin. Got him. No. Elbow to the face. Knee to the face. Another elbow to the face from Will Craddock. Oh, Jesus, the forecast we got again. Causing blood to start seeping out over his face. Another shot. A hit to the groin. And these two men do not like one another, and they're trying to kill the other German suplex out to the neck. Someone has to fall. Oh, kick to the groin. Oh, clothesline. Death Star Driver, that's it! But it's right by the ropes. Neck breaker, of course, not working to pin down Will Craddock. This one he's going to kick out of. Will Craddock just does not want to die. Oh, knee trigger. Well, he, he almost uh, almost succeeded in beating him, but it didn't work. He's going to go for another knee. There's too much energy has been burnt out. Good job with the sliding D. Crunching the knee. Oh, punishing punches to the face. More punishing punches to the face. That was a, that was a nice clothesline. Pretty good. Oh god, more forking to the damn face of Will Craddock. What will it take to put either man down? One, two, three, 
Oh, here we go. Get the stupid light tubes. Oh, hitting a light tube to the face. That stunned Will Craddock. That had him stunned. But refusing to fall. Damn suplex. Oh, God. Knees to the face from Will Craddock. A hook to the back of the head. Now let's see if this will finish him off. No! Oh, a senton to the back. Torture Boston grab! That would have ended it. Moonsault, caught him. No. Oh God, more forking to the back of the head. Snap suplex again. His elbow get, getting there before Justin Jersey Boy's punch. German to the outside of the ring. Maybe that'll finally kill the god of death. No, he gets back up like fucking Freddy Krueger. Now he's getting out another weapon. Oh, caught him with a light tube. Snap suplex from the Welsh Wrecking Ball. Another elbow to the face. Arm breaker. It's another day at the shop for Will Craddock. Oh! Triple elbow to the head. No! Got him! We thought he got him. No, it was not a three count. Not a three count. Both men are down again. Bloody Sunday's DDT! Now he's starting to take over the match. The Welsh Wrecking Ball is. 6.30 said, Don. 6.30 said, Don, again. Elbow to the back of the head. Punch to the face. Oh. Good clothesline. By Sunday DDT. On to the neck. Straight jacket German. No. Neck breaker. Going up to the top. Moon salt. Both men have to be tired. I, I have no clue how, how both men still see them standing. Spanish fly. Fighting to the face. Here we go again with another sliding D. Sliding D to the face. Good God. Dragon Sleeper, this is it. Locked in tight. Now just dominating the match. Jersey Rainmaker. More boost for the God of Death. Not that he cares. Caught him with a hook to the head. Straight jacket German again. This is it. Oh, dear God. Got 
Going for the cover. No. Now his turn. Jesus Christ. Oh, damn. German. Oh, not a German. Dragon suplex. The corner special. Here we go. He should have tapped out by now. Any normal man would have given up. Jersey driver. Welsh wrecking ball, that was a great cannonball. Oh no, here we go, reversing that. Oh, missing that. Sick thud from the turnbuckle. Moonsault, got him. No. Oh no, he hit him right in the net. Still kicking out. Death Star Driver! Got him! Another hit in the balls. Oh god, what a back suplex from hell that was. Oh, Missy the Centaur. Corner special coming up! Corner special! Is he gonna tap in the middle of the ring? No, he gets out. Jabs to the face. Oh, here we go. Punches to the throat. Going for the cover. Will this be enough? No! Oh, jeez, more force. Moonsault, one, two, no. Ushikoroshi hits it. Elbow to the back of the head. Oh God, more forks. Not the forks. Oh, Jesus. This guy's just walking through moves. Oh, God, another card of special. Will he tap? No, he wasn't. He did not tap. Oh, Jersey driver. Go for the cover. No, he still kicks out. Jesus Christ. He's still standing. No. Cannonball again. Straight jacket German, here we go. One, two, got him, no. Snap suplex again. him down with a clothesline. Wait, Jersey Driver! Good God! Wait, no! He's down! He got him! Oh my God, no! The God of Death! 
is your new AAW Heavyweight Champion. Oh my God! Will Craddock isn't getting up. He's not getting up. He's finally had enough. He is fallen. We have a new king now. Well, as your announcer, I just have a new message here from Charles E. Oswald. He states he's happy to see Mr. Craddock, Mr. 100, has been reduced to Mr. Zero. And he hopes that the reputable Nicky Nux finds a more suitable partner instead of that rapscallion Will Craddock. And he hopes that this beating will make your comic book hero your comic book humble hero. In closing, you're headed to the back of the line. You need to earn your title shot just like the rest of anybody else. Any immediate rematches has been shot down. Signed, Charles E. Oswald. Now we're going to hear from the God of Death himself. Oh my God, we have a new king in AAW. And his name is the God of Death. Things will never be the same again. Don't worry, we'll have opening comments from the God of Death soon. Once he hits Things back will never be the same again after that. We have words from the God of Death himself regarding this title victory. Everything has a beginning, and everything has an end. And Will Craddock, looks like your title reign has come to an end. Long live the king, for he has died and has been replaced. And in my first act of cruelty, I decree that Will Craddock be sent to the back of the line, along with all of us and Charles. And along with Cowboy Johnston, that all of them be sent to the back and they must fight, they must claw for a shot at the God of Death, your new king of AAW. And this reign will be glorious and it'll be violent and full of blood and despair. My first challenger. I have something in store for you, son. Mitch Frank, you might have all that MMA prowess, but you never encountered a crazy motherfucker like me. And when you do, son, when you decide to step up to the God of Death, I'll show you why your name is written on my scythe. And you'll be alone. And you'll be unloved. Just like you are in life. And just like you are by the fans. Rest in peace, Mitch Frank. And rest in peace, Will Craddock's title reign. Long live the new king. Well, words from wisdom from the god of death himself. You heard it here, folks. Long live the king. The king has died. And now, we will see what people have came here for. Wanton violence. Ajax going making his AAW debut against Simba Mufasa. That's if the game wants to cooperate and play ball. Which it never does, because we're in the show business. Fight! And here we go. Ajax going up against Simba Mufasa making his debut for the fledgling AAW company with unfortunately the God of Death as its champion. Let's see if Simba Mufasa can do what he can to defeat the hulking, monstrous mass of Ajax, stupid and slamming him outside of the ring. One, one, two, Jeez, look at that big bony like three, mass of a man. Four, two chops five, from Simba Mufasa, barely affecting Ajax. Six, seven, Didn't even face him, side slip to the outside. Eight, nine, ten, uh, hopefully Simba Mufasa. Knows what he, oh god, he has a light tube. 12, 
Run, Simba, run! Go. 14! Oh, Jesus! Two points up to a late two. 15! Wait, it's time to 15! 15. He might lose my count out! Oh, never mind. For those of you who don't know Ajax, he won the March Madness Tournament. Some say he had a little extra help from the juice. I personally do not see where any of these accusations fly. I personally believe Ajax is on the up and up, and he'll be one of the best up and tumbers from the AW. Signed to a uh, schedule of, what was that, a limited Whoa. appearance Two. only contract. Two. Three. Ajax is giving it to Simba Mufasa, oh God. Five. Simba just not Three. having any offense in this ring. Seven. Oh, Jesus. Eight. Two. Good lord! Oh, Super kick to the outside! 12, 14, Ajax loves to brawl on the outside. This might be a detriment. 15, he better go back in the ring! 16! Oh god! 17, no! It's gonna end by count out! Oh thank god! Two! Go! Oh. Dodging a super kick. Here we go, Simon Mufasa, Ajax! Finish! Got him! He has Ajax stunned. He has the big man stunned. Simba Mufasa now trying to upset the bigger man. Finish! Oh! Dodging the super kick again. Oh! What a spinning tornado brain buster that was from Ajax. Oh! Spear! The move he won the March Madness tournament with. But Simba Mufasa doesn't break just yet. Finish! Another kick. Doesn't have him stunned this time. Simba Fox is trying to use his oh. speed to get Ajax out the way. Oh. Unfortunately, Ajax isn't fighting. Dodging super kicks again. Going up. What is Simba Fox doing? He goes! him right in the throat. Had him stunned for a second, but Ajax isn't falling for it. Pretty much this whole match is Ajax dominating with a tiny bit of glimpses of hope for Simba Fox. I think the fans just want to hear uh, the outfields. I don't want to lose your love. Because I don't either. I don't want to lose your love. Wow, that new just bounced off the chest. Oh, he takes him right in the face. For those of you who don't know, Ajax played a very nice practical joke saying he retired. Unfortunately, he wasn't done. Oh, wait, wait, rolling him up. One. Got him. Got him. No. Yeah, Gregor again. Well, more punches to the gut. Yeah, Gregor again from Simba Mufasa. Lion Tamer! Oh what? shit, Lion Tamer from Simba Mufasa. What? Ajax is not putting away Simba like he thought he would. Like, oh. Spear! Spear! And Simba just stands up like it's nothing. Getting great Buster. Will he put him down? Ajax still not going for a cover. This might be his detriment and his downfall. Simba Mufasa right now fighting for his life, and that is one of the more dangerous. <laughs> one of the more dangerous strategies you can do. One, two, oh. Super kick. Ajax, damn you, Ajax. Oh. Damn you. Right on the face. What? Damn you, Ajax. Damn you to hell. Two. Uh oh, here's setting him up here. Spear. Spear. That's it. One, two. Got him. Ajax successful in his AAW debut. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh boy, even my friend who watched that match said that Simba didn't do shit. Uh, I don't know what the hell, I think Simba had stage fright. Simba probably had massive stage fright and just didn't want to come out. Oh, look at this. I got a letter here from the God of Death himself. 
He states that he hopes that old bag of bones, the senator, decides to answer his challenge. If he doesn't, he's going to go into lariats and legislators and destroy all the cunts and assholes in that company. I do apologize for the language. And that he sincerely hopes the senator does not sleep at night and that he only thinks about his impending death. Again, I'm sorry about the language. We just can't help it. It's, it's, it's a Josh... He's from Jersey. I mean, you know, he says a lot of weird shit. But anyway, let's get on to our next match. We're going to be showcasing some newcomers. Possibly old comers. Wait, that didn't sound right at all. That that just sounded very, 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 um, hmm. I didn't sound right. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, we're going to be showcasing some new talent. Very first time they're going to be shown, I think. Possibly. Not sure. Unless they're part of the round system. If they're part of the round system, oh, you know. By the way, damn you, Ajax. Damn you to hell. Well, I, I, I believe that the show is called Raining Blood, and it definitely has lived up to the hype. I mean, shit, that match was full of blood and goozleberries. I haven't seen that much blood in a long time. Last time I saw that much blood, I went to a Tupac concert. It was horrible. Well, actually, no, not a Tupac concert. An Ozzy Osbourne concert. There was a lot of blood in there. Never exactly the most fun thing to watch. A bloody Ozzy Osbourne concert. Anyone here ever been to an Ozzy Osbourne concert? It's never the prettiest thing to see. It's way too violent for me. Anyway, our next match is going to be Mitch Frank going up against uh, the French this Frenchman. Um, let me see if I can find his name here. I don't have my reading glasses on. This is what happens as an announcer when you get distracted by beautiful women. Which there are none right in front of me. Damn. Alright, it's Mitch Frank going up against Avery Petit. We shall see who has domination over the ground game. And here we go. Fight! Now, is it Pettit or Petit? One may never know. Mitch Frank starts starting off there at a slow ground pace. Yeah. Kicking yeah. away at his man. There we go. What a what a jaw jacking sleeper that was from uh, Avery Petit. Now these are two Well they're not new new. I mean they they're semi fairly new. To some people who haven't watched the uh, Two Nights in Tokyo, and for others who haven't watched the other pay-per-views now. <laughs> Mitch Frank is one hell of a fighter. But he's no Stanford Brimley, let's, let's face it, Stanford Bradley, so. I do believe that Stanford Bradley was trying to offer his managerial services to Ajax earlier today. He said that Ajax reminded him of a giant blob of mass uh, named Bob Sepp. Ajax didn't like that, so Ajax slammed him through a table and then repeatedly bashed his head against a garage window. That's just what I heard. I, I don't know if it's all true. It's just rumors. Go for the cover there. Avery Petit is showing a lot of good stuff here. Mitch Frank might be in a load of trouble. No, oh, look at this. These two are kicking each other now. I mean, I'm still shocked. You know, the AAW heavyweight title. Come. 
You know what? I just can't believe it ended like that. Will Craddock never has shown that his that he's not made out of steel. I, I just I just don't have the words to say it. His neck was basically split into two by the Jersey driver. And Charles uh, E. Oswald has basically decreed that Will's going to the back of the line. Hey, listen here. Bob Sapp did not have Ernesto Hoos' number. The Japanese referees had Ernest uh, Bob Sapp's number. The Japanese referees were the one who fucking rigged that for him to win. There was like no chance in hell Ernesto Hus deserved to be stopped in that second fight. Oh, hey, look. Oh, look at that. I see Stanford Brimley wandering into the back. Oh, God, he's going to Harbinger Death Locker Room. No, don't go in there, Stanford. No, oh, AAW where magic happens. Don't forget our main event, Lance Marshall against the Hunter. Lance Marshall's going up against the Hunter. Uh, if you guys are wondering why I don't have entrances, uh, there's a very good reason why. I just don't like this game to crash, man. Suplex from Avery Petit. I'm still, we're still debating if it's Petit or Pettit. I'm pretty sure it's Pettit. I need to see this indie job or you need to put a link. Well, there's a good question here. Is um, our usual jobber for the night or, I'm sorry, we don't say that. We, we should say that about any man that laces up the boots. I mean, Ham and Egger, uh, Ivar the Boneless, will he be in action tonight? That is a maybe. We're not sure if uh, Ivar the Boneless will be found. One, Going for the cover. Two. No. This is a low key, this is a really good match right now. These two are just kicking the shit out of each other. It's just the fans are pretty much in shock from all the violence they've seen from the main event. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I saw that voodoo. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, good shit. I fucking love it. Take a look at that edit if you guys don't have a chance. That is fucking hilarious. Oh, God. Sent on there from Petit. Oh, wow, that had to hurt. DDT. But Mitch Frank, of course, standing up like it's nothing. Oh, abdominal stretch. Terry Taylor looks like he came from the same family as the Gobbly Gooker. If the Gobbly Gooker and the Red Rooster decide to, uh, for some reason, bump uglies and they had a really disgusting looking baby, that is pretty much how you would describe Clem. I heard that Clem became a wrestler because Big Smoke, a regular customer at Cluck and Bell, decided to keep ordering the same orders that he placed with his three homeboys and decidedly made Clem work a bit harder. Figure four leg lock from Avery Petit. I heard that Clem's the kind of guy that spits in your food and calls it extra flavoring. <laughs> Clem's the type of guy that just puts barbecue sauce on steaks just for shits and giggles. Clem looks like the type to like a steak well done. Just because he likes extra fire on his meat. Go for the cover! One! Two! No! I heard that Clem looked so out, uh, oddly bizarre that uh, even Stanford Bridley wanted nothing to do with him. Although I did hear Stanford Brimley was offering uh, Clem some wrestling lessons. Oh, he's going for a Northern Light Suplex counter into a DDT by Mitch Frank. 
I wouldn't say he's a, he's a backyarder. Okay, he probably is a backyarder. Book, I, I would I would say that um that should be a tag team. Todd Colton and Stanford Brimley. They should call themselves the guys that don't know when to shut their mouths. Can you imagine those two in a tag team match against Tommy Wiseau and LeVar Ball? That would be fucking hilarious. Oh, front face lock. Good God. I heard that Clem has an entry-level wrestling degree, and he's going to get his master's by learning from the teacher, Stanford Brimley. Uh-oh, he's, he's calling for it. Oh, damn. What a tackle. Now he's trying to rip the arm off of Avery Petit. Well, this is a really good match so far. Is he going for it? Oh, he's going for a brain buster. German suplex. Good God. Oh, wow. Triangle choke. Got him. Mitch Frank again impressing the audience and the AAW universe with his technical mastery and artistry. All right, let's let's see here. Oh, looks like we yeah, it does look like he will be in action. Local jobber legend Ivar the Boneless is going to be in action right now. But who will he be in action against? Who? Who? Gosh, I hate doing that noise. That just hurts my throat. Will it be Todd Colton? No, of course not. We're not going to book such an absurd match. That would be f ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> The New Day. No, that would be great. Uh, yeah, that would be great. That would be actually a pretty funny match. Let's see. Who, who else would they book him against? You can always book him against Mirko Krokop if you really hated Ivar the Boneless. I, I have nothing against him. He was just stating the truth. Anyway, here we go. Here's our next matchup on deck. Minoru Suzuki going up against Ivar the Boneless. Penalty kick. Cement Minoru is going to town on local legend Ivar the Boneless, who claims to be a wrestling master and a titty disaster. I don't know what the fuck that means. Gosh, style pile driver. Ooh! Now yeah, working the leg. Gotch style pile driver again. No! Ivar reverses it! Ivar reverses it! Ivar's lasting longer than a minute! Somebody get the streamers out! Oh, never mind. Ivar's dead. Rest in peace, Ivar. Ivar's about to get his arm broken. I thought Ivar was actually going to pull out a victory this time. Oh, Jesus. Atomic stretch. Or octopus hold. I'm sorry. That's an octopus hold. Oh, jeez. Backwards. Oh, reverse triangle. Ivar's arms are drooping lower. And lower, and now he's about to break the arm, and it's over. Minoru just killed another guy. I don't think AEW will ever be the same again with that match. It's a main event level match anywhere around the world. Jesus Christ. Give Ivar a break, man. He doesn't deserve this. He's a good man. What is our next match, robot? 
Yes, that sounds like a great match. But should it have the round system? Okay, yeah, it's probably a good idea not to have the round system. Yeah, the round system would seem like a bad idea. We're going to have a debut tonight. It's going to be a fun debut. It's going to be Ken Glamrock. Has anyone heard of Ken Glamrock? He's going up against Barry Horowitz. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a great match. I can just imagine the fans' excitement. It's a main event level match anywhere else. But we're just having it here for you guys on free TV because we like giving away money. Anyway, here we go, Ken Glamrock going up against Barry Horowitz. Oh, wow, elbows from Ken Glamrock. Rock and roll! Rock and roll! What the hell was that? Is that it? Wait, is this it? No! What the fuck? Who the hell is a Ken? Oh, God! German suplex! What the fuck is a Ken Glamrock? Oh, Jesus! Killing Barry Horowitz! What the fuck? Rock and roll! Rock and roll! Dude, this, what the fuck is a Ken? Oh, God, he just shoot takedown him! This guy's a monster! He's a beast! He stops! He killed Barry Horowitz! Wah! Rock and roll! Oh, I love this guy. He's my new favorite wrestler. I love him. Oh, my God. We're going to keep booking this man until no fucking tomorrow. All right. Let's cut a check. Let's cut a paycheck for this fucking Ken Glamrock right now. Rock and roll! Oh, my God. I'm never going to stop saying that for a while. Rock and roll! Okay, that actually, that sounds really fucking annoying. I'm going to stop that now. Mm, but I got to do it one more time. I can't help myself. Ugh. Rock and roll. Ugh. And we have another debuting superstar, Mr. Red X, coming on. Um, He will be debuting against another... Monstrous superstar. It's a main event anywhere around the world, of course, as usual. He's going up against a very tough competitor by the name of Duke the Dumpster Drozzy. It's a main event level match anywhere around the world, folks. You, you can't get quality like this in AAW. <coughs> right. There you go, Mr. Red X going up against... Oh, God! Going up against Duke the Dumpster Drozzy. A main event level match anywhere around the world. Oh, jeez. Double arm suplex from Mr. Red X. Oh. Oh, God. Remember, folks, this is, this is, a, this is he's obviously a tough competitor. Oh, Shining Wizard going for the cover. One, two. Got him. It's over. Who is this best man? I think he's better than Ken Glamrock. Oh my god, I think I, I think we found my new favorite wrestler. Oh my god, this guy's awesome. Who is he? Red X? Who is Red X? I don't know who the fuck Red X is. That was great. <laughs> well, the main event is almost here. We do have a few more matches left. Hopefully they won't be as squashy as that one. But then again, I don't know if that's true. For those of you looking for when the next Iron Man tournament is, we're just waiting for Skullface Killer to get clearance. Once he is cleared to compete again, he will be able, the tournament will be able to continue on. But anyway, we have uh, another debuting superstar here that hasn't been seen yet the Baseball Fury. Oh, yeah, the Baseball Fury. Taking on. 
a very good superstar, a very tough competitor. As usual, competitors are, you know, etc., etc. Um, taking on the very tough Cesar Bonani. Oh, this is a, this is a main event level match anywhere around the world, folks, and you, you only get it at AAW. Here we go, Cesar Bonani going up against the Baseball Fury. <laughs> Basketball Jones. I, I don't think Black Belt Jones was on tap for that either. <laughs> oh my God, we need more Ken Glamrock. That's what the show needs. We need more Ken Glamrock. I like Baseball Fury, this other guy we just debuted, but Ken Glamrock is the superhero we need. Home run! Oh, he shit, he hit a home run on Cesar Bonani. Do you guys remember when Jobber Squash matches lasted longer than 10 minutes? Especially in those old WWF shows. Those were atrocious. I don't think anyone wanted to see Ken Patera versus SD Jones go longer than 15 minutes. That, that was just trash. Here we go again. Oh, ho, ho. hitting a home run. A home run again from the baseball fury. Going for the cover. One, two. No, Cesar Bonani kicking out, showing some grit. Oh, that was a humdinger. Well, it looks like somebody's not taking him out to the ball game. Um, yes, I am. I am definitely abusing the match pacing mod. There's a reason why I have a jobber hierarchy. You can't have a wrestling show without squash matches. It is fun to watch. I had the most fun I've ever had streaming watching Ken Glamrock. Ken Glamrock is my new wrestling hero. We need more people like Ken Glamrock in our lives. If the world had more Ken Glamrocks, the world would be a better place. Actually, actually, I'm going to make Ken Glamrock's theme song, uh, Twisted Sisters, we're not going to take it. It just looks so fucking perfect for him. Come on, pin him already. Cesar Bonatti's dead. He's dead. Stop it. He's already dead. You can't kill what's dead. Oh, the baseball fury killed Cesar Bonatti's career. Wait, he's attacking him even more. Stop the match. Oh, Jesus. Attacking Cesar Bonani after the bell. Someone come to his aid. Oh, God. Another slam for that baseball fury. Still attacking Cesar Bonani. Someone has to save this kid from a beatdown. Dear God. Who's going to stop the baseball fury? Somebody ring the damn bell. That's enough. He's had enough. Oh, Jesus. Oh, goodness gracious. Right to the Neds. Oh, jeez, even Scooby-Doo is cringing from this pain. Oh, sweet mother of God. Oh, oh God. The beatdown still isn't over. Baseball Fury still going to town on this guy. What the hell is this guy's deal? Well, the Baseball Fury winning the match, but maybe not the fans' hearts. We have a bit more marquee matchups before our main event. Stay tuned and enjoy the show. Possibly some beers. Anyone here has had a beer yet? I know it's Easter Sunday, but shit. Sometimes you just got to have some fun. I, I prefer a nice taste of a cold Chianti with some liver and fava beans. Oh, sorry, we were talking about beer. We weren't talking about um our delicacies. <laughs> right. You didn't hear nothing, people. You heard nothing. Um. <clears throat> anyway, I'm sorry about that, folks. I, I I don't know what came over me. I didn't I didn't hear anything. Anyway, let us do our next match. Um. <clears throat> I wonder. I wonder. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> Oh man, that that would be terrible. All right, anyway, let's just let's get on to the next match. So 
So how's everyone's night going? How's everyone's Easter? Did you guys celebrate? Did you guys have fun? Did y'all just like party? Some people like to party during Easter time. I'm I, I don't party. I prefer not. I actually haven't drank in like maybe a month, which is good. That's a good thing for me. You know, the drinking's bad. Uh, any young folks watching here, just never, never, never pick it, pick up the bottle or a cigarette. Just never do it at all. It's it's not a good idea. But anyway, that's me being preachy. So we got more marquee matchups on the way. Uh, possibly more debuting talent. Not too sure about the the if they're good. I mean, you know, you can't can't sure every talent's gonna be good, but. But, you know, just shit happens. Anyway, right now we got uh, another marquee matchup here, or main event, anywhere else around the world. Uh, the American Sasquatch will be taking on Rocky King. Yeah, Rocky King, that Rocky King. Oh, jeez. Will Rocky King be able to pull out the upset against the gigantic monster of AAW? We shall find out right now. All right, let's right. let's go ahead. Oh, jeez, Rocky King walking into that gorilla press. The American Sasquatch squatching the shit out of someone already. Oh God! Don't forget, this coming summer, the Doctor Overdose Tournament of Survival will be on hand. That is the Doctor Overdose Tournament of Survival, the premier deathmatch tournament of Fire Pro, will be happening this summer. Oh God, Canadian backbreaker. Oh, squash bomb. One, two, is this it? No, squash bomb not destroying. Oh. Canadian backbreaker on Rocky King killing him. Don't worry folks, Rocky King will have his day in the sun. Oh God, never mind. I think he might need more days in the hospital. No sun tanning today. The American Sasquatch going to town on him. Wait, he clears up by the summer? Holy crap. I have to, how are we going to ever finish off the Iron Man tournament now? Hey, hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, Canadian backbreaker. That is it. Game over. Rocky King tapping out. The American Sasquatch proving to be a nightmare for anyone who steps in the ring with him. We're almost there, folks. We're almost up to that main event time, that time where we just party. The party still stops. That party don't stop when I'm... You know what? I'm just... I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we got a local competitor taking on... A local competitor taking on the North Star Lion coming up next. I heard this local competitor is really good, so this might be a very marquee matchup. North Star Lion's been on a losing streak lately. For those of you who haven't been keeping up with my streams, North Star Lion's been dropping L's and more than Meek Mill. And I don't like that. That's my bud. Can't have that. Anyway, here we go. North Star Lion taking on a local competitor. I heard his name is um, Edwin Buttermilk. Edwin Buttermilk from the farmlands of New Jersey. One, two, no. Edwin Buttermilk allegedly wrestled a cow in his backyard and has experience in wrestling alligators. But I don't think he's wrestled a human being before, especially one that's stretching his arm. Oh, that had to hurt. Wow, Edward Buttermilk is definitely putting up a good fight against the North Star Lion. Come on, Edwin, you can do it. Come on, Edwin, do it for all the cow farmers out there. Moo! Oh, Jesus. I want to see more Ken Glamrock. The show needs more Ken Glamrock, damn it. German 
suplex. Oh God, a chaos theory. One. Is this it? Edwin Butterbilk has been defeated. He's 0-0. He's 0-1 to start off his AAW career. Oh, and sweet Jesus. Oh, Edwin Butterbilk, we had high hopes for you. Well, Edwin Buttermilk did not last that long. He lasted about as long as him milking a barmaid's udders, which is not very long. I heard he was a virgin. No, no, nothing against that. <clears throat> all right, we got another. We got a couple more matches for our main event. You know, we had to clean the ring after all that blood. Uh, the, the ring is also brought to you by. I heard the ring was brought to you by the Red Cross somehow. I have no idea how. <clears throat> Yeah, it's brought to you by the Red Cross, somehow. You see, the best thing about AEW is we have a vast array of talent wandering around the world. Oh my god, yes. Yes, I do want that. Okay. So, we got the clearance. Um, He does want to do another one. Yes. My, the greatest wrestler of all time is wanting to do another fucking match. Thank you. Thank you, wrestling god. You are so kind to me. <clears throat> He's going to do another match. The man, the myth, the legend, Ken fucking Glamrock, is going to be out here again. He's going to face a local competitor. Oh, God. This, it's a main event level match anytime Ken is here. He's just like the life of the fucking party. <clears throat> here we go. Ken Glamrock going up against mass competitor Jesus Mulroney. If you're wondering why he has such a weird first name and a weird last name, he told me he was a kid uh, born in Oklahoma, adopted in Mexico. Had two parents that left him behind to be... Oh my God, rock and roll! Yes! Yeah, rock and roll, man! Come on, get him! What was I talking about, his backstory? Who gives a fuck? This guy's gonna get destroyed. Nobody cares about this guy's sob story. Ooh, drop kick to the knees. Come on, get him, Kim Glamrock. Get him! Rock and roll! Rock and roll! Yeah, break his arm! Do it! Do it! Oh man, Ken Glamrock is the hero we all deserve. He's the drunken uncle we all wanted. Actually, I didn't want my drunk uncle. Probably, probably for the best. Rock and roll! Rock and roll! Cranking up Jesus Moroni. Oh God, his neck is going right back to the orphanage. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at Ken Glamrock go! Fans do not like this guy. I don't know why. He is a laugh riot and a hoot. He reminds me of a, a very a very sexually confused William Wallace with that getup. I fucking love it. Well, he's, it's taking him longer to put away Jesus Moroni. Oh, wait, Jesus Moroni got got uh, Ken Glamrock. He's reversing him. I think Mr. Mr. Uh, Moroni is showing some gold. Never mind. He just got his head caved in. Rock and roll! Rock and roll! Oh! Judy Star Press one, two, and there goes ends the career of wrestling god Jesus Moroni. Wait, wait, say it. Rock and roll! Yeah! Woo! Oh man, oh, this is the greatest wrestler of all time. He's way better than Ajax, and I thought Ajax was great. Ken Glamrock is the best thing Charles E. Oswald has done in this company. Rock and roll. <laughs> anyway, we got one more match for the main event. <clears throat> I wonder what this match will be. It's, uh, it's some loser. Uh, no, he's not a loser. It's a main event level match anywhere around the world. Okay.
Anyway, uh, here we go. We got AAW Mainstay, Andre the Shadow taking on <clears throat> taking on a local competitor. He goes by the name of Ignacio, but he likes to be called Nacho. I've never heard of this guy before. He's probably some loser they found off the streets, as usual. Never heard of this guy whatsoever. Who the hell is this guy anyway? Ignacio? What kind of a wrestling name is that? That's horrible. Okay, he's got a couple lucky hits in there, but look at him. He's not even prepared to wrestle tonight. Obviously not ready for the figures of the sport. Obviously not. Oh, we have one. Oh, my God. Whoa, what a hip attack to the outside. Throw it over Andre the Shadow. What? Wow. Wow, that 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 um that actually was a great move. I, I didn't expect that from a loser, but still. I guess every dog has his day, and now the fun is about to stop. Andre the Shadow is about to kill him. That was probably the wrong move for Mr. Ignacio to do. Ooh, wow, this this guy's impressing us. You know, <clears throat> he's no Edwin Buttermilk, but you know he, he's doing a good job. Uh oh. Stopping his takedown. Oh, kneeing him to the face. Andre the Shadow is not fucking around now. Scooping a slam to the outside. No, does not go to the outside. His body is just too heavy. Andre the Shadow. Oh, wait, what? Chopping him down? Who is this Ignacio? Who is this kid? Figure four leg lock on Andre the Shadow. Oh, here we go. They're trading strikes. This is not a wise idea to trade against a, tra a dangerous striker like Andre the Shadow. Top pound for pound striker in all of AEW. Knocking, knocking down this Ignacio character. And of course... <laughs> Also, stay tuned right after the main event. We will have a special recording of AAW Superstars. Possibly. Oh, God. Those kicks are vicious. From Andre the Shadow. Possibly shattering the orbital bone of Mr. Ignacio here. Driving him on his skull. That's it. Game over. What? He kicked out. He kicked out. Nacho kicked out. What in the hell's going on? The bright lights, the sexy dress. What is going on here? Oh, Jesus. Scooping and slamming him down onto his damn neck. I think Andre the Shadow has this. German suplex by Andre the Shadow. Good God. Onto the damn neck of Ignacio. Ig Ignacio having a tough time right now in this match against a fit trim competitor like Andre the Shadow. Oh, Camel clutching him. Oh, shit. No. <clears throat> well, I think this is the end of the miracle run for Ignacio. That was nice while it lasted. No, he kicked out again. This Ignacio can take a beating. Axe Bomber, this might be it. Got him, man. Andre the Shadow finishing off Ignacio. And what can be described as a tough match for the young man, but he gave him all he could. He gave him some hell in the beginning. All right, we go. Our main event is about to happen. The Hunter. Will he become the Hunted or will Lance Marshall 
shine, dine, and wine. Oh my god, that was horrible. <laughs> what a story, Mark. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to stop doing that. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I, I, I just love it too much. Anyway, here's our main event match. Uh, Lance Marshall going up against the Hunter. But will the Hunter become the Hunted? Will the Prey become the... That was terrible. That's a terrible pun. I could do better than that. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, Jersey Boy. You can do better than that. <clears throat> nah, I can't think of anything. All right, whatever. Just enjoy the match. Yeah, I wouldn't stop him either. The Hunter is going up against Lance Marshall. Good luck to Hunter. If he wins, he'll be a hero. If he loses, he'll just go back to the bottom of the line. Fight! Here we go. The Hunter going up against a Lance Marshall. And here we go. This will be a humdinger of a match. If I do say so myself. Well, Lance Marshall already going for a stalling suplex right in the beginning of the match. <laughs> this doesn't bode well for the Harbinger of Death. The other Harbingers of Death right now are not to be seen in the ring. Yeah. Josh gave clear instructions to leave things be. We have to show them that we are tough. But as a unit, besides the Hangman and the God of Death, the unit is, has shown cracks. A tiny bit of cracks have been forming in the Harbingers of Death. We did hear that the Harbingers of Death had a stern talk with Dynamite Bull Barty, who got knocked out by the returning Firehawks and Tarl. Who will return in our AAW Superstars taping. <clears throat> For those of you who are just tuning in, Will Craddock, AAW Heavyweight Champion, has finally lost and gone down. His title reign has ended due to a Jersey driver from hell after a grueling 90-minute match. Best two out of three falls, by the way with both matches having 45 minutes draws with the final fall having Will Craddock's neck broken by the God of Death. And it was a hell of a fight. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> Stanford Brimley, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Stanford, what the hell is his fucking name? Branley? Okay, I need my reading glasses. Give me a second here. I need to see what this guy's name is. Stanford Bradley. There we go. Stanford Bradley. <clears throat> he stated that he wants to talk to Todd Colton and maybe these two can take each other to the top. I don't want to know what that means. I really don't. It's like the Poison song. I don't want to know what love is. But I want you to show me. <clears throat> German suplex. Good God. Man, this is a tough match. I have to agree. I agree with the announcer. Um, Stanford Bradley has basically compared themselves to the odd couple. Felix Unger and the other guy. He says that they are like the three stooges. They're like Moe and Curly. And nobody cares about who the third member is because the third member will be the Larry of the group. Woo! Damn, Lance Marshall missing that, that hopscotchy jump. Let's see, we got some upcoming events we have to promote because we love to promote our sponsors are always kicking. Uh, let's just take a few time a few minutes to take a look at upcoming events in the Fire Pro universe, shall we? Boy, you just I just can't talk today. <laughs> okay, anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, coming up. Um we will have Monday Night Dusk coming up tomorrow. 12 a.m. um allegedly today we're supposed to have an event. Uh A1 Climax at Sunset Pro. <clears throat> 
Tune in for that. Monday Night Wrestling with Triple Christopherson. Phoenix Rising will be there. Of course, AAW will be backing up. We'll be backing up the show. Um, always will have that one-hour showcase. The main event is still in limbo. But I've heard rumblings that the main event for a the next AAW um, hourly show will be the North Star Lion against Ken Glamrock. What? Rock and roll! German suplex from hell! Hunter just stands right back up. Pile driver, no, just falling onto his face. Yeah, I, I don't know how to take out the mouse. <laughs> I I use um I don't use OBS, I use uh, XSplit. <laughs> the dude in orange is Lance Marshall. Um, he's one of the best, one of the better edits I've seen from. Uh, Firehawk and it's Lance freaking March. Oh, Texas Cloverleaf. Give up. Give up. Don't forget, don't forget, this is might be the main event, but tune in for AEW Superstars. Oh, damn. Hunter squashing him on his face. Lance Marshall just basically eating all of his offense like nothing. Well, we just got word that the Harbingers of Death were miffed that they were left off of the Fire Pro Wrestling Arena card. I'm sorry, the Fire Pro Wrestling Alliance card. With the God of Death stating that the next time these cunts decide to leave me off, I will not be a happy camper. I will put my scythe into the faces of all those who dare laugh at me, and I am one of the hottest free agents in all you know, the Fire Pro Arena. And no one dared to touch or call me. Oh, and he threw him out the ring. Here we go, Lance Marshall. Actually, Lance Marshall and Cowboy Johnson are probably my two favorite edits. I am a sucker for cowboy wrestlers. I am a guy that grew up watching westerns. Westerns and gangster movies were my absolute favorite to watch. I love the old Cagney movies. I love the old Sergio Leone movies. I love even that fucking... What's that really depressing ending uh, cowboy movie? The one where the protagonist, you thought he's going to come back and save everyone, but he gets killed in the ending. I think it was like a sound of silence or some shit like that. That was a really good one. Josh LaParka. Thank you. Finally, someone gets it. It's like it was an homage to LaParka and Reaper from Overwatch. Don't worry, it's all gonna be up on video on demand. Uh, that match, that match was brutal as shit. The, the like coming falls were disgusting to watch. The second fall was probably one of the most nastiest draws of Broadways I've ever seen in my life. With the exploding bat really just just opening things up, and the Spanish fly onto the bat is probably one of the nastiest spots I've seen. I do love Skullomania, but I was, I, I didn't want to use Skullomania because I love Skullomania. I don't want him to be a villain. I use like semi-villainous characters. La Parker is a villain to me because they took away his identity. And, uh, La Parker right now is an imposter. You know what? Half of my roster is made up of Will. Pretty much it's Will, Firehawk, and Romantic Misery. Romantic Misery basically makes up most of my roster. Romantic Misery actually takes up like three-fourths of the members of the Harbingers of Death. I love the Parker. He was one of my favorite wrestlers in WCW. He didn't have that many classic moments, but I love the chairman. Oh, wait! He tapped him! He made him tap into the Texas Cloverleaf! Holy shit! Lance Marshall getting revenge for... Phoenix rising by making one of the Harbingers of Death tap out. He made one of the Harbingers of Death tap out. The God of Death is not going to be happy about this one. What? 
That is crazy. The Texas Cloverleaf ending that that encounter. Give us a few minutes. We're going to be changing the ring. It's going to be a taping of AAW Superstars. We just want all of you to be loud, be proud. <coughs> the Harbingers of Death. Were, no, that was not the intended finish. Um, I was expecting him to use the cattle drive, but I did not set that in the book in the booking mod. But we'll keep that between us. <laughs> 